Rhodes University, accused of being the least transformed in the country. Students argue it's not reflective of a democratic society. Out of 57 full-time professors, just seven are black. None of the university's eight deans are black. Also, we're speaking about curriculum change, the fact that our curriculum needs to speak to our past, it needs to speak to our present, and it needs to uh, speak to our future aspirations as a country. The fact that we're not learning about the likes of Steve Biko in sociology, for instance, or the fact that we're not learning about Oliver Tambo in politics is a major problem. The sensitive debate that's divided the student body. I'm against it. I think it's a waste of funds, and I don't think it will bring any real change, just a superficial change on the outside. If people want to change in terms of race or racism or whatever in the university, I don't think changing names can affect it at all. Our stance in this is that as much as we are saying that uh, the road's name change must, must change, uh, the road's name must change, we are also saying during this process, let us work in transformation. This is why now you find us uh, trying to find a place uh, for students who don't have a uh, work accommodation. Uh, that's a part of transformation in that way. The university says the issue of the name change is being discussed. I really appreciate they are raising important and uncomfortable issues. That's what the university is about, raising important and uncomfortable spaces. And for me, what is happening at UCT and, and, and Rhodes is something that should happen right across the country and in every institution of higher learning. We must create avenues to engage in what one can call courageous conversations. The issue is now with the University Council. Lerato Tipa, SABC News, Gramstown.